Keep this love in a photograph We made these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing our hearts are never broken And time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet And you won't ever be alone Wait for me to come home Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel So for today's video I have three delicious amazing recipes for the fall Today was a perfect day because it was raining outside, it was chilly, and the weather was just perfect to just stay inside and bake and make these recipes. So I'm really excited to make, to show you guys these recipes. If you like them or if you make them, please leave down a comment below. I would love to hear your feedback. If you're interested in these recipes, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so for this first recipe, I made pumpkin pancakes. For the dry ingredients, I used two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. For the wet ingredients, I have um, one and a half cups of milk, one cup of pumpkin puree, two eggs, and two tablespoons of oil. Also, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. recipe I made um, pumpkin spice lattes and let me tell you this made my house smell amazing so I used four cups of whole milk you can use two percent or whatever you like I used four cups of coffee I made sure it was stronger than usual and I used this coffee that I purchased at my local Marshalls it just gave it an extra warmth and just a fall taste. I added um, some pumpkin, a half cup of pumpkin puree, actually a little bit more. So like a heaping half cup of pumpkin puree. I added two teaspoons of vanilla extract. A teaspoon of cinnamon. And I also added uh, two cinnamon sticks. So I um, made this coffee in the crock pot, um, but you can make it on um, on the stovetop as well. And I left it in the crock pot for about two hours on high, and um, that's pretty much all it needs. It doesn't need a whole a lot a lot of time. So yeah. And for my final recipe, I made these delicious baked apples. I used here four honey crisp apples. They looked bigger than the rest of the apples and they're also sweeter so I recommend using these. But if you don't like them then you can use whatever you want. So I just had to cut out the core of the apple and also carve out some of the inside of it. That way it has room for the filling. <laughs> So for the 
filling, I used a half cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a fourth cup of oats, and a fourth cup of chopped pecans or pecans, I'm not sure how you say it. I also used a box of these um, raisins. So um, I also melted some butter just to incorporate all of the ingredients. I melted four tablespoons of butter into the mixture. So it looked like this once the butter was incorporated. And um, I just had to fill the apples with the mixture. need a half cup of water to put in the baking dish that way the apples will bake better I put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 55 minutes but I think 50 minutes would be better because they were starting to burn so I think 50 minutes would be better and once they were finished I topped it with some ice cream and man these were delicious you guys it would also taste good with caramel drizzle, but I didn't have any. Well, you guys, those were my three fall recipes. I really hope you enjoyed them. And let me tell you, those baked apples were so good, you guys. I couldn't get enough. They were amazing, and the house smelled so good, as well as with the pumpkin spice latte. The house just smelled amazing and so like I said, I really enjoyed making these recipes for my family and for you guys as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!